Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to talk about what it requires to be a full-time trader as a professional. So these are my top 8 things required um, to be a full-time trader um, in stock markets. So here we go. So the very first thing is discipline. Um, discipline is actually divided into both time and money. Um, you have to consider this like an, any other job. Uh, time discipline is very important. So you have to make sure you are completely dedicated with, with how the markets are performing in a day and day in and out and things like that. And money management is very, very important. You have to divide into, uh, you have to keep continuing your um, SIPs um, of mutual funds and uh, wherever your long-term invested stocks, etc. So that that is very, very important. Just like any other job, you have to treat it the same way. The very second thing, emotional control. Now, a lot of people uh, might might think about what is emotional control, um, but um, it's an equally important task here. Um, as a full-time trader in stock markets, there are times when um, uh, you will be really, really depressed, and there might be times when you might be emotionally out of control. Um, um, few trades might go out of um, out of your analysis that means uh, there might be days that you would uh, all your analysis might have gone wrong these are the times testing times when you have to keep going you have to keep keep going and uh, not uh, think about taking revenge in stock markets because that doesn't exist there are times when the market might show uh, some kind of a reversal so you have to stick to your strategy if you have uh, set up a stop loss you have to stick with it and things like that so what happens uh, in real time is um, um, there might be days when uh, you will be in big profits which will give you good happiness and uh, there might be uh, days when you will be completely in loss so what you need to do is this has to be uh, there has to be some kind of control in that where you have to be neutral if you are uh, in profit you should be happy about it and then keep keep doing better based on the analysis and and vice versa so this is very important and as I told you, it's easier said than done. It does come by experience, but you have to keep trying to get it right. The third point is replicating the job perks. So most of the times, um, what, what people think is as a full-time trader, um, as a professional, people do go ahead um, uh, like uh, being, uh, being disciplined and um, they would be knowing which trades to put in and things like that. But they completely forget that um, on a normal job, you will have job perks like term insurance uh, or medical insurance. So these are given provided by the company in your salary or as a part of a salary. Um, so you have to take this um, as separately. So uh, you need to uh, take take an extra amount uh, from here from your profits or this should be part of your um, liabilities, I must say, because um, this as a as, as a full-time trader um no one is giving these perks for you you have to take it on your own so this is just like an insurance just in case something bad happens or if you are no longer alive your family can can survive um, without you so this is equally important medical insurance is important for your family which is usually given by the company if you are actually working in an organization so this you have to replicate these kind of job perks into your personal life and take these insurances separately all right so the fourth one is learning every day so um, as a as a full-time trader it is not advisable to keep keep watching the prices ups and downs because that that's just just gonna uh, take you away from the market and will make you much more uh, anxious um, it's a very equally important to read blogs um, see the analysis of the day and then just just stay away from the monitor and just do your writing reading and and learning stuff so while you are on the job that's that's the way you actually learn learning on the job so i'm not saying that you should not learn off the job but then while on the job it's not advisable to um, sit in front of the computer whole day it doesn't make sense so i mean just you watching your trades doesn't make sense so you have to keep analysis and doing something related to that so that you are keep learning all the time the next point is fixed goal weekly or monthly or daily so you should have a goal in mind so most of the traders um, full-time traders what do they what they do is um, they go 
they enter the market put a uh, place trades and then what they think is make money they made a, they might have made a profit of 5000 10000 rupees per day and then they, they put another tra uh, trade another trade and this keeps on going please do not do that as a full time trader this this is the discipline i was talking about in my first point the discipline is about your trades every day so the you should have a fixed number of trades every day um, or uh, if you have a fixed number of a goal every day for example 5000 or 10000 so five trades 5000 something like that so if you have set up a goal like that stick with it so if you don't try to make tomorrow's work too so don't try to do tomorrow's work so if you have made 5000 a day and that's your goal don't try to think that i'll make tomorrow's trade also today so that i can relax tomorrow and that's not going to happen you will make today's work only today and then tomorrow day is one of those things where you can't eat tomorrow's food today so it's one of those things so please do remember that keep that in mind have that discipline so divide short term trading so divide your uh, your trades your plan you should plan your trades in advance in fact uh, so um, your your amount for, so if you have the, the capital amount has to be divided into short term trading long term holding intraday or positional trade so this is equally important while you are doing full time trade as i told you the it's 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 not important for you to stay in front of um, the the com computer or laptop whole day it's important for you to plan your trades the next point would be continue your mutual fund investments if any including ESS, ELSS so as I told you I was talking about the uh, the job perks earlier and um, you should continue your investments if you are in a job you should have some kind of mutual fund portfolio um, that is equally important because you have to consider this like a job and consider it as a full-time profession that means your investments have to be separate now stock markets have to be our investments on a own like you would have some kind of um, long-term holdings too but mutual funds um, using the sip systematic investment planning route is one of the best ways especially the elss funds now um, elss funds are the only tax saving funds which are available uh, in this category you should definitely invest on those and you should never stop that so you should keep continuing with that um, and treat this like any other job last um, but not the least uh, plan your trades in advance uh, and keep your uh, day busy um, writing blogs or researching that i have told you this in advance um, that you should um, plan your day in advance based on the what kind of trades you might be entering into whether it is fndo or uh, um, intraday or positional or if you are thinking about a positional trade then you should see the market conditions and how it is performing uh, sometimes um, entering directly in the market in in a negative market doesn't make sense so there might be a free fall in the market so that you should see the opportunity and then place the trade so those are my top eight points required to be a full-time trader so um, it's very important that you have to you need to go through each points in detail before you um, enter into stock markets as a full-time profession however you can start practicing whenever you get time to to see if you have the mindset mindset to be a full-time trader hope you enjoyed this video and um, um, if you did like my video do like and uh, share my videos do subscribe and click on the bell icon below so that you are notified when i release a new video i will see you again in my next video thank you